Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write a PLSQL function to validate the email address given by the user. So first of all, you need to create the function. So let me create the user defined function over here. So I'm writing here that is a create or replace function. And here you can provide the name of the function. So I'm writing the name of my function is email validate. Now here you need to provide the parameter. So I'm writing here the parameter is email and the type of the parameter is varchar2. Now, whenever user provide the email address, if email address is valid, then I want to return one. And if email address is wrong, then I want to return the zero. So here I need to return the data type that is number. So I'm writing here that is a written number is begin and and slash. Now I need to check the user has provided the email address that is correct or not. So for that, I need to check for the regular expression. So I'm writing here that is if regular expression like of parameter email and if user is providing the email address that is correct or not. So for that, I need to create the combination over here. So I'm providing here that is it is starting from the character and that character can be a, a to Z capital or small. So I'm writing here that is a to Z capital or it can be a to Z small and combination can be one or more. So I'm providing here plus not only this. I want to allow capital small as well as zero to nine and dot. So I'm creating one more set over here that is a to Z capital a to Z small and here you can write 0 to 9 and you can provide dot also and the combination of this also can be for one or more characters. So I am providing here that is plus. Now I want the compulsory at the rate character. So I'm writing here that is at the rate after at the rate it can be a combination of a to Z capital small or 0 to 9. So I want to provide here another set and that is a to Z capital A to Z small 0 to 9 and user can provide after at the rate dot also. So I'm writing here dot some allows the dash also. So I'm writing here dash and combination of one or more. So I'm writing here plus now after that I want to check for the compulsory dot. So I'm writing here that is escape sequence slash and dot. Why? Because in regular expression dot is a stands for any character so i'm writing here slash dot it means i'm checking for exact dot after that i need a domain name so domain name can have minimum two characters and maximum you can define so here i'm specifying that the domain name should have the a to z capital it may contain a to z small as well as i want to define here the length it means minimum two character of domain and maximum I want six character of domain and after that I'm defining dollar it means that the end of the regular expression if given email ID satisfy this regular expression then I want to return a one it means that the email ID is valid else I want to return over here that is zero and here you can write and if so function is ready you can copy all this statement. Now you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message over here that the function is created. Now it's a time to execute the function. So it is very simple. You can write over here that is a select email validate and here you can provide the email address. For example, parag at the rate gmail.com and you can write here from dual you will get one. It means that the email address is valid and suppose if you remove here at the rate then you will get the zero. It means that email address is invalid. Not only over here, you can check into the data also. For example, I have one table and that is data. Having the email address over here. So I'm just checking select name, comma email. Email validate is my function and I'm passing the email over here from data. And here you can check that. Here I am getting that this is the correct email address. This is wrong. Why? Because at the rate is not there. This is wrong. Why? Because dot is not there. So this is the way you can write the PLSQL function to validate the email address given by the 
user so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day